For seven years, they were untouchable. 20 battles won, seven kings conquered, 10,000 square miles of choice property reclaimed. The glory days of Israel. In between the difficult days of Exodus and the dark era of the judges, the Hebrews were unstoppable. Could you use some glory days? You don't need to cross the Jordan River, but you do need to get through the week. You aren't facing Jericho, but you are facing rejection or heartache. Amalekites don't stalk you, but disease and discouragement and danger, those run rampant. And you wonder if you have what it takes to face tomorrow. Well, the book of Joshua is in the Bible for such seasons. It dares us to believe that our best days are ahead of us, that God has a promised land for us to take. That land is defined by grace, refined by challenge, and aligned with the heavenly call. In God's plan, in God's land, we win more than we lose. We forgive as quickly as we are offended, and we give as abundantly as we are given. We may stumble, but we do not collapse. We may struggle, but we defy despair. We boast only in Christ, trust only in God, and lean wholly on His power. God invites you and me to enter this promised land. And there's only one condition. We must turn our backs on the wilderness. Will you join me on a journey into the promised land? I'm not saying it will be easy. The enemy will not go down without a fight. But I am sure of this. You were made for the promised land. And your glory days lie ahead.